Lord Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Akarkadush. Okay? All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Akarkadush. Okay? Um, let me try to pull this down. Just a little quick little. Uh, A little bit you know you know whenever things fe feel like they're getting out of control whenever you can't control things anymore whenever you know sometimes you just gotta let the lord take the wheel sometimes but yeah sometimes you gotta let the lord take the wheel man i want to go and talk about being a chosen people let's start off right here you know, all praise, honor, and glory to you, Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shai. And double honors to my apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well, teach well, being great example to us brothers. Okay. Let's start off here. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. Okay. The Lord, Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shai, thy God, have chosen thee. See, the Lord chose a, cer a, a certain people, man. You know, if you go to the scriptures and you type in, uh, you know what I'm saying? You, you type in Israel. Well, the Lord, you know, he, he's talking about Israel a lot. You talk, you, you talk, you, you type in the 12 tribes of Israel. You type in, you know, who the Lord's chosen was. And it's going to tell you that it was Israel. See, what the world wants you to believe is that everybody is the Lord's, uh, is the Lord's. Everybody... I mean, what I'm trying to say is the world wants you to believe that the Lord loves everybody. But he clearly doesn't. He makes a perfect distinction in these in these chapters, man. This is the book of uh, <clears throat> book of uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 6. It says, The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are on that are up on the face of the earth. Okay? Above all people that are up, that are uh, up on the face of the earth, man. Deuteronomy seven and six. So that means that hey, hey, the Lord said, hey, these right here, are my people, these Israelites right here, these twelve tribes of Israel, these are my people. Okay, they my people, and their righteousness is of me, man. Okay. This is Deuteronomy 7 and 7. The Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because ye were more in number than any people. Okay? It says, For ye were the fewest of all the people on the earth, man. Verse 8, and it says, Because the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, loved you. Who did the Lord love? The 12 tribes of Israel. You so called blacks, Latinos, and Native American tribes, man. The indigenous tribes scattered across the world, man, really, you know, over here in the Americas, uh, the, the West Indies, the, uh, the Caribbean, South America, okay, all the way over there to different parts of Europe. The Lord scattered us out everywhere, okay? That's why we come looking like different people, but everybody ain't from Israel, man. You might have a white dude, you know, and then you have a black dude. As long as their, their seed line goes back to Israelites, man, as long as their seed line goes back through their father to Israel, then they're Israelites, man. And how do we know it? We try the spirit by the spirit. See, the scriptures are is a spiritual book. You got you to gotta have spiritual discernment to read these scriptures, man. And another thing, if you don't know the meaning of words and stuff, you're going to read it and you're not going to get it. That's why we got beautiful teachers like Apostle Tahar and Apostle Gabar. And Apostle Ramloff, we need to be happy. We and Apostle Ricar, we need to and, and all my apostles, man. Manatazak, you know, Yashawamba, you know, Elder Karatazak from Vegas. We need to be thanking the Lord every day for these men, man. Like getting on your knees and, and thanking the Lord that He gave us this knowledge, man, every morning, man. That He gave us teachers. Because He could have had us out there, man. But we are special people unto the Lord, man. You know? And that brings happiness to my heart knowing that, hey, man, you know, I could be chosen. I could be one of those guys. 
You know, that's why we, we work hard to, to try to be of the hopeful. We're hopeful through faith that we're elected to go up on those chariots, man. We're hoping that the Lord will save us and have mercy on us, man. Because he's not going to have mercy on everybody. It says Deuteronomy 7 and 8. Because it says, but because the Lord loved you and because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers, right? Hath the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeem you, <laughs> not everybody else, Israel. And they redeemed you out of the house of bondmen from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, man. The Lord with a strong hand brung us out of these certain captivities, man. And he's going to take us out of this captivity here in America, man, because we slaves here. We're slaves up under this corporation called America, man. You know, first fired, last hired. You can never really own nothing, even if you own a house or a car or anything, or if you own a house and property, if you don't pay taxes on it and you don't pay this and you don't pay that, then you don't own that shit, man. It's not really yours. Okay? We are uh, made subject to payments here in America, man. Subject to payments. We're not free, man. No? We wasn't free. We ain't been free here. It's a, it's a huge facade, man. Okay? But getting back to the positivity of it, hey, we are the Lord's people, man. The reason we in this bad situation that we in is because we went off against the Lord, you know, worshiping other gods. And, and our people are still doing it these days by uh, celebrating Christmas, and Easter and all these things that have nothing to do with the scriptures. Ain't no ain't no thing about chasing bunny rabbits and, and picking up eggs in the scriptures, man. You know, Easter ain't in the scripture. It's really talking about the Passover. OK, the Pesach. But we are special people to the Lord, man, and that brings happiness to my heart because I know that there might be a way there might be even though we going through all this trouble, you know, you might be going through this and going through that in your life and you're still holding on. You're holding on. You don't even know why you're holding on for some of you, especially if you don't know the Lord. Well, the, the way the reason you're holding on because the Lord loves you, he wants you to hold on to reveal to you who you are, man. That's why we're here. That's why the brothers is, that's why the Lord gave us teachers. Because if the Lord didn't give us teachers, man, we'd be way gone, man. We probably would have been dead already. Some of us, man, in jail, doing all types of shit, man. You know, I knew I would have been messed up. The Lord would have had to take me out, man. You know, and sometimes I, I, I'm so afraid of the Lord that, you know, I think he's going to take me out any kind of time, man, because you never know what you did, man. But the thing is, that we are the Lord's man. That's why he be whooping our butts. That's why he does. That's why he does things. That's why he does things. And, and you sit there and you question like, dang, man, what did I do? And you you don't even know, man. It's because your father is hitting you with that rod, man. Certain videos that uh, your father. So what's the scripture say? Spare not the rod. Save the child, man. You know. You know, in this in this world uh, that we live in, we can't whoop our kids. They can call the police on us. We can go to jail for hitting our children, man, whooping their ass. That's why this place is so undisciplined, man. But guess what? Our father whoops our asses, man. You know, we go off and say some stuff that we didn't mean to say or, you know, we get too proud. He'll bring us right down, man. Believe me, I know, man. You know, different videos that brothers go into. It'd be spirits, man, that, you know, you know, that put those put that kind of uh, video together. You know, from the higher ups, man, they's like, all right, you're going to do this video about this. And then you don't even know, like, that video is cutting all types of people that are in the truth and making us better, man. Just one video, you know. You know, like the elder uh, Ayash from Mississippi. I think this elder or bishop. It's lucky if I get it wrong, brother. But his video today, this morning, you know, he was coming back from work. It cut me all up because, you know, he's saying like, you know, you can't get too proud in this thing. And you think that just because 
you know, I compare it to my family members because lately, you know, I've been, you know, I've been, I, I've been looking at stuff from afar and I'm like, man, my people ain't going to make it, man. You know, it's because I care. It's not me trying to, you know, I don't want to get too proud about it, but I have been proud sometimes. I'd be like, damn, man, I don't even want to hang out with you motherfuckers. Forget my language. I don't want to be around you, you know, but that's not what the Lord wants from us, man, because we never know if the Lord later on down the line, uh, uh, wake up them, man. You know, once you, you into this truth, once you first get in the truth, you don't realize those things cause you got so much zeal, you know? And I, whenever the brother brought that up through the, through the lesson, man, it cut me to the heart, man. And that's what it's about, man. The Lord whooping your butt with that, you know, with that rod of correction, man. You know, I'm sitting here saying this, that, and the other under under my breath and in my mind, and I'm thinking these things like, oh, they can't be saved, or I don't know how they're going to make it, or I don't know how this is going to happen. They just went to Easter, and they seen that I wasn't at Easter, but everybody else still celebrating, and I've been walking around and preaching and stuff, and nobody wants to hear me preach and all these things, and I get proud, and 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 I get pissed off about it, man. It's not, well, I get pissed off before I get, you know, I don't know if it's pride or not. But the thing of me getting pissed off makes me think that I'm too proud, man, because I, I didn't I wasn't understanding, man. The scriptures speak about, you know, the, the scriptures speak about so many things that can teach us how to understand how to deal with these situations, man. So the whole time I was getting pissed off that they probably, you know, they're going to get killed because I want to save their lives, but they don't want us to be saved. I keep telling myself that. But is it really that, you know? Is it really that or is it that the Lord, either he don't want to save them or he's waiting for a certain time? See, we don't know, man. That's why the Lord be whooping our ass, man. You know, because we are chosen people. Deuteronomy 7 and 6 through 8, a chosen people, man. The Lord chose us not because we were more in number. The Lord ain't dealing with other people like that, man. Only the Israelites. That's why we're going through these things. That's why we're getting cut in the spirit. Different videos will cut us. You'd be like, damn, I don't even want to pick on it, but the Lord will make you click it anyway. And then you get cut. And you just take your ass whooping like a man. And get better. Don't do it again. You know, pray to the Lord to give you more strength to not commit those same, uh, same, uh, those same atrocities and stuff, man. Pray to the Lord to, to put a better spirit in you to be able to not say as much as you got on your mind, man. Because sometimes we, we we blurt out our mind because we get into our emotions too much, man. And once you get into those feelings, sometimes it comes off at the lips. And sometimes it can offend somebody and you never know who you offending, man. You know? You could think this person right here, they're never going to get it. Uh, they're uh, they go, they doomed, you know, but at the same time, you're like, man, I want to save them. I, I care and love them so much, but they're not going to make it. But you don't know that, man. So this truth, man. Yo. Let me this truth is it's like there we go. Man's goings are of the Lord right there. Proverbs 20 and 24 man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? OK, we don't know why some of our family members don't got it right now. We can't be like and I'm not a forceful dude. I don't try to force the scriptures on them. I don't try to tell them maybe you should come and watch me uh, preach. You know, I'll be preaching such and such and they know I'm going to preach, but they still don't inquire about it. So that pisses me off. But it's not about that. The Lord is having their walk go a certain way and having my walk go a certain way. And you just never know if they don't come into the truth. That don't mean I got to treat them like crap. That don't mean that I got to, uh, you know, some of the things that I've been doing and saying lately, man. You know, certain things that I'm going to have to answer for. And then I seen the brother Ayash, the elder, Mississippi, man, and he, he cut me to the heart, man, because when you know that pride is a that pride is a mug, man. You know, I, I, my brother wanted me to live with him. You know, he's trying to get an apartment. You know, we both 30 something years old and shit. You know, he wants to get an apartment, but I really, you know, I, I, I was starting, you know, I really didn't want to get with him. 
get an apartment with them, but there might come a time that I'm, I might have to, man. But I was being proud. Man's going to the Lord, right? You know, I got a lot of correction coming. Then I got cut this morning. I was being proud because, you know, oh, he don't he don't believe in the Lord like I do and this, that and the other and all this stuff. And if I go live over there, then, you know, he's going to have sausage and shit in the, in, in, in the, in the refrigerator and he's going to have he's going to be celebrating Easter and Christmases and stuff and all these things that I don't want to celebrate. I'm better off being by myself. But I can't think like that, man. You got to protect yourself at the same time. But I was thinking of it as, as a sense of like, I can't, you know, I got to tell him the whole truth. Like, I can't live with you because of this and because of this and because of this, you know. And I wish it wasn't like that. But that's kind of being too proud sometimes, because what if what if uh, I need that situation soon? What if something happens where it's, you know, I have to have somewhere to live at, you see, and then you 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 you, you mess yourself up. You mess yourself up, man. The scriptures can teach us about so much stuff, man. You know? The spirit, the, the, the uh, what does it say? Yeah. Proverbs 20 and 27. The spirit of man is the candle of the Lord, man. Searching all the inward parts of the belly. So we're constantly searching, man. Our spirits are, you know, some of us are, uh, some of us are way low, man, in the spirit. And some of us are way high. But we need to have a balance, man. No, you get too high up there. You think you can't come down. Some of those videos that the elders and stuff put out there bring your ass right on down to realization, man. The thing is, we are chosen people, man. The Lord is whooping our butts through it, through and through. No matter what it is, he, he tearing us up, man. Okay. Isaiah, this is Isaiah. I want to get straight to this one. Yep, because we chosen. It says Isaiah 43 and 21. This people, who's this people? Israel, man. Have I formed for myself? They shall show forth my praise. And that's what I'm doing right now. What did Job say? Though he slay me and slay, you go into that word slay, you know, that 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 means like, you know, though the Lord kill me, though he put me through this pain, though he got me going through all this trials and tribulations. Well, in the scriptures, it says, you you know, you're my son. The Lord said, so you're, you're mine. So I'm, I'm going to punish you first. Start at the house of your Jerusalem, man. Start at the house. Uh, start at my sanctuary. The Lord said he's going to whoop our butts first before he started taking people out, man. OK. This is a spiritual thing, man. You know, Job said, though he slay me and, and even though the Lord put you through this and he's putting you through this and some people may die and all these things. We're constantly being purged, man, constantly going through, uh, you know, going through that. Uh, that that straight gate, man, with the fire on one side and, and the water on the other side. That's a blessing to be chosen, man, a blessing to get correction, a blessing to be reproved and not get upset and not be all high minded like you can't get your butt whooped by the Lord. Like you. Oh, again, Lord. Oh, again. Oh, I don't know what I did. No, man, the Lord will take you out, man. Lord will take you out, man. This people have I formed for myself. They shall show forth my praise. Okay? Because the Lord loves us, man. We are his children. Jeremiah 29 and 11. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord. See, we don't know. We don't. <laughs> we be sitting here hating on our own people and shit. Cursing them up under our breath. Saying this, all oh, you nigga, you damn, you know. But. We can't love Israel as much as the Lord loved Israel, man. You know, we may say this person, this and this person. Oh, they ain't going to get it. They ain't going to never. They ain't going to never come to the truth. They ain't going to never stop uh, eating pork. They ain't going to never do this. Hey, we can't love them as much as it as much as our Lord loves them, man. You know. Maybe he'll bring them around and stop doing that stuff. And maybe he won't. 
How can we judge it, man? We got to worry about ourselves. The Lord said, uh, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Own, your own, your own, your singular, your singular. Stop worried about them. That's what I need to do, man. Stop worried about if they ain't going to make it or not. Don't treat them like just because they don't worship, worship the Lord like I do. Don't treat them like you don't want to be around them. Because I've been guilty of that. I've been guilty of, I just don't even want to come around you anymore. Because I'm tired of your, your mouth, the stuff that you say. And it's vexing, man. It's vexing that they still celebrate these things to me. It's vexing that they still do these things. And they cool with uh, still eating pork. And, and cool with still doing all these things. And it's vexing, so I get pissed off, man. But I don't mean to go off with the thoughts and stuff. I don't mean to... to uh, you know, condemn them in my in my heart, man. Because that's up for the Lord, man. We got to find different ways to to get out of those situations because those iniquities are building up too. It don't matter how good you are. You had a bad thought towards this. That person might be a prophet later on. That person might be somebody uh, after the Lord's heart. You you really don't know just because they don't know His name and this that and the other. You would never know, man. The Lord is very merciful and he's forgiving. And the Lord also said that, what do you say? Why should you die? Basically like, you know, I don't want to kill you. I don't want to kill you, but I will basically, man. Like the Lord don't want to, the worst person we can see out, you know, of the tribes, you know, the, 12, the blacks, Latin, and Native American, we think that they this and they this, that, and other. It's like, damn, this dude ain't going to never make it, man. This, this dude is a murderer. He's this, he's that. Hey, man, you never know, man. The Lord is far out. He do what he want to do. I've been going everywhere with this pistol. Something makes me want to talk about that, man. You know, not uh, what would you call it? Basically not. Uh, not being too proudful, man. Let's look up pride. Let's look up pride real quick and see how many times it pop up. Forty-six times just pride. Proudful. That's proudful. It's I don't even know that's a word. Let's just look up proud. 47 and then 46. Yep. Yep. <laughs> hey, get, being too proud of uh, uh, mess you up, man. Let's go to this one right here. Psalms 12. Yep. Psalms 12 and 3, the Lord shall cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that speak of proud things. The Lord hates pride, man. You know? This is Job. This is Job, and I'll read Job 40 and 11 and 12. It says, cast abroad the rage of thy wrath and behold everyone that is proud and abase him. So even the prophets was was preaching against proud men like we are these days. Esau Edom, so-called white man, is very proud. You know, his system is a proud system. They proud to be this and proud to be American. They stole this land from the Indians. My brothers, they proud of that, aren't they? They proud of their Christmases. And so we, we constantly going against the proud. But you can't be proud, too proud against your own brethren. People that don't know the truth and this, that, and the other, we can't be too proud thinking that we can't get messed up by the Lord. I hope that's making sense, man. And the Lord going to take out everybody that's proud. He's going to start at Israel. He's going to start with us. Why do you think so many of our people are just dying? So many of our women and children just dying, getting shot up, getting killed.
Job 40 and 12. Look on everyone that is proud and bring him low. It didn't say uh, it said look on everyone. It didn't say look on Esau that is proud. It didn't say look on uh, the Japanese or the Chinese that are proud. It says all. Job prayed, look on everyone that is proud and bring him low and tread down the wicked in their place. Man, wicked between you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans. And you other nations, man, anybody that is proud, the Lord's saying. You know, Job is asking the Lord of, you know, proud. So, yeah, man. This is, uh, I like that one. This is, uh, Psalms. This is Psalms 138 and 6. It says, Though the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh be high, yet hath he respect unto the lowly. But the proud he knoweth afar off, man. See, like I was saying, man, we can't get too high-minded, man. Too proud that we got this truth. It's a beautiful thing and we should be thankful. And, and, and more importantly than all that, we should be afraid that the Lord gave us that. Because that means the Lord going to kill us first if we mess up, man. You should be tormented in fear that you have this truth. You should be happy with the Lord say. Uh, rejoice with fear. Let me get that. You should be like sometimes... I know, brothers, if I'm like this and I'm just not getting this truth, like, I'm so scared to the point I think I'm about to damn have a heart attack or something, man. Like, I get so afraid of the Lord. I get afraid of the things that I do. And then sometimes I end up doing some stupid shit anyway. And then I'm extra afraid. It's like almost like I don't know how to explain it, man. It's like you you, you watching everything, man. The slightest thing, man. The Lord can take your ass out. You know? It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God, man. These other gods in this world, they ain't living. Where are they at besides sitting somewhere and just sitting and people go and worship wherever they are and, and this, that, and the other, and they worship these things that ain't moving, man. We got a living God. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is living and he's moving, man. And he controls all things, all the spirits, man, the good and the bad. It's you better be afraid. I'm afraid, man. I ain't going to lie. Like the kind of fear it, it, it's like you can't even breathe with this kind of fear, man. That's how afraid you need to be of the Lord, man. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling, man. And that's that's why that's why I be getting mad at my family members, man. That's why I get mad at other people. But I can't do that, man. I want them to be afraid like me, but it's not for them, maybe. I want them to feel that, and I want them to know that the Lord got their back, more importantly. I want them to know that the Lord gave us, he has a special people like we was reading in Deuteronomy, man. A, a peculiar people, man. And that's us, man. And it breaks my heart to see my people like that. But I can't get too proud, you know, to like, all right, man, it's over for them. No, it's not. You never know. The Lord might wake them up. The Lord might wake them up and then kill me on the way. I might fall out the truth. They might fall into the truth. And then I might die. You never know, man. You never know, man. Hey, the Lord, the Lord is far off, man. This is Psalms 2 and 11. And it reads, and I'll close off with this. Serve the Lord with fear. And rejoice with trembling. And when, when I read that, when I first read that a long time, how do you, I was thinking to myself, how do you rejoice in the midst of fear, man? You know, and all I can think about is like maybe, uh, you know, if you if, if you got beamed up, <laughs> if you was in the midst of that, you know, World War Three and then the, the chariot was beaming you up. He finally beamed you up. You're going to be you're going to be afraid. But at the same time, you'd be like. You can have a, a sigh of relief. Oh, thank you, Lord. 
Well, that's how it feels right now. That's how it feels like the train is breathing us up, man. But we the bombs are still coming down like, damn, that I could have got hit by that one. Boom, boom, boom. They're still coming down, man. Right now, they're coming down on us, man. Different things we see. These spiritual bombs are coming down. But these scriptures is beaming us up, man. The Lord is far off, man. Y'all better give praise to the Lord. It says, serve the Lord with fear. I'm talking about you so afraid, man. You need to be afraid. You know, not just a little afraid. Like, you know, Lord, you know, he, he let me. You know, I, I slid on it last time. Maybe I shouldn't do that this time. Then you end up doing some shit again, man. Hey, we need to we need to get the heck out of that, brothers. We need to be afraid for our lives, man. We need to be so afraid. You need to be afraid of what the Lord is doing in this earth, man. You need to be afraid, especially if he woke you up to this truth, man. You need to be afraid, man. These people ain't afraid. They don't got no fear. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Hopefully this message was edifying. Shalom.